Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, Math D1 Deepu Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 9, which is ratio, rate, time and speed. Your book is D1 Mathematics, new slide was Mathematics 1. Alright, I'm going to explain you exercise 9D, question number 9. Okay, your book is D1 Math and I'm going to explain you question number 9. Okay, students, so question number 9 is a car travels the first kilometer of its journey at an average speed of 25 meter per second and the next 120 kilometer at an average speed of 80 kilometer per hour. The car completes the last part of its journey at an average speed of 90 kilometer per hour in 35 minutes find the average speed of speed of its entire journey giving your answer in kilometer per hour okay students the very first thing is you have to write down the formula to find out the average speed so the formula to find out the average speed is you know that we have to find out the average speed in this question they are asking that find out the average speed so the formula to find out the average speed is total distance traveled divided by total time taken so this d stands for total distance so you have to find out total distance and total time okay as in first a car travels the first 50 kilometer of its journey at an average speed of 25 meter per second so here the distance is given and the speed is given but time is not given so it means that we will find out the time okay so as the formula to find out the time is Okay, so I am writing down time 1, time 2, time 3 and I will use the word D1, D2, D3 for the distances. Okay, okay. here the car travels the first 50 km of its journey at an average speed of 25 meter per second. So the first time would be distance multiplied by speed. You know that the formula to find out the time is, whenever you find out the time, so the formula is distance divided by average speed. Okay, distance divided by speed. This is the formula to find out the time. Remember, to find out the time, you have to remember this formula, which is distance divided by speed. Okay, students, so here the speed is given in 25 meter per second, okay? 25 meter per second. Here the distance, basically what is speed? Speed is distance divided by time. It means that distance is given in meter and the time is given in seconds. So here we also need the distance in meter over here. But here the distance is given in kilometer. So to convert kilometer into meter, I will multiply it with thousand. You know that one kilometer is equal to thousand meter. So to convert 50 kilometer into thousand, you have to multiply 50 with thousand. Okay, so this is distance and this is speed. Okay, now we solve it. So I will get 50,000 divided by 20. Five. Okay, when I will divide 50,000 with 25, but I will get, I will get the time, time 1, I am giving it the name time 1, okay. So, 50,000 divided by 25, it will be equal to 2,000. So, 2,000 seconds is the time 1. Alright, now we have found the time and let's come to next. And the next 120 km at an average speed of 8 km per hour. At least first now I am going to convert this time into hours. Why? Because in the question, at the end in the question it is written that find the average speed of its entire journey giving your answer in km per hour. Students so remember that answer must be in km per hour. Per hour. So it means that the unit for the time is must be hours. Now I will convert these seconds into hours. You know that to convert seconds into hours, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Okay, so, so it means that to convert seconds into hours, you have to divide Okay, 1 second, then 1 second will be equal to 1 over 3600 hours. Why? Because these 60 are the for seconds and these 60 are the minutes. So, 2 
2 will multiply them, you will get 3600. So to convert second into hours, you will divide with 3600. So 1 second is equal to 1 over 3600 hours. So it means that I will convert these seconds into hours by dividing it with 3600. So here, and okay, in the next step, I am converting this 2000 in, with, I will divide it with 3600 to convert it into hours. These two zeros will cut with these two zeros. And what I will get, I can cut it with a table of 2. So 2 tens are 20, 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16. Okay, 2 fives are 10, 2 nines are 18. So I will get 5 over 9 hours. Alright. As it is, so now let's come to time 2. Okay, so now we have found the time 1, which is 5 by 9 hours. Now I'm going to find out time 2. So time 2 is, okay, it's written that in the next 120 kilometer at an average speed of 80 kilometer per hour. Now distance and speed is given so I can find out the time. Again the same formula I will use distance divided by speed. So the here the distance is 120 kilometer. Now already the distance is given in kilometer. At an average speed of 80 kilometer per hour. So as here the unit is 80 kilometer per hour and here the distance unit is also kilometer. So no need to change any unit. Okay. So when you will divide 120 with 80 what you will get. You can cut 0 with 0. 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12. So I will get 3 over 2 hours. Okay, 3 over 2 hours. Achaji. Now let's come to time, find out time 3. Time 3 is already given, which is 35 minutes, but here the distance is missing. So I will find out the distance. Okay, uh, we know the distance 1 and distance 2, but we do not know the distance 3. Here in third, the time is given, time 3 is given, and the speed is given. But distance 3 is missing. So we will calculate the distance 3. You just need to remember the values. Okay, time 1 is 5 by 9 hours. And time 2 is 3 by 2 hours. Here I am going to write down the values at the side. So you can remember it. And I will raise it to solve the further sum. So remember that time 1 is. T1 is. T1 is 5 by 9 hours. And T2 is 3 by 2 hours. Okay, T3 is given, which is 35 minutes. Okay, you have to convert the minutes into hours. Okay, this is 3 times. 35 minutes. To convert 35 minutes into hours, you have to divide with 60. 35 divided by 60. So, what you will get? And you will divide 35 with 60. You can cut it also. You can cancel it also. So you will get 7 by 12 hours. 7 by 12 hours. This is T3. Actually, now we know T1, T2, T3. So in the formula, we can put these three times. Okay. But here we know the distance 1, distance 2. But we, the distance 3 is missing. So here we are going to find out the distance 3. Okay, G. distance 1 is given, which is 50 kilometer. Okay, so as it's written that find the average speed for its entire journey, giving your answer in kilometer per hour. So it means that the distance must be in kilometer. So distance 1 is 50 kilometer and distance 2 is 120 kilometer. Now we have to find out distance 3. Okay, so the formula to find out the distance is speed multiplied by time. Speed multiplied by time. So speed 3 and time 3. We have calculated time 3 which is 7 by 12 hours. Okay. But here the speed is given in 90 km per hour. So the time must be in hours and we have calculated it which is 7 by 12. And speed is 90 km per hour. So 90 multiplied by time 3. Time 3 we have calculated which is 7 by 12 hours okay when we will solve it we will multiply 90 with 7 so we will get 630 
and when I will divide it with 12, what I will get? I will get 52 whole 1 by 2. 52 whole 1 over 2 kilometer. Actually, now we are going to find out the average speed. So, average speed, the formula is total distance divided by total time. Okay, so now I am going to put the values. Actually, this is 52 whole 1 by 2. Okay, we can write it down as 52.5. 1 by 2 is equal to 0.5. So, I can write it down as 52.5 kilometer. Okay, now I'm going to put the value. This is the formula to find out the average speed. Total distance divided by total time. So, total distance means that you have to add up all these three distances, which is 50, 120, and 52.5. And in denominator, time 1 is 5 by 9 hour. So, 5 by 9 plus 3 by 2 plus 7 by well, these three are the distances okay so I have just added them now I'm going to solve them when I will add 50 120 and 52.5 well I will what I will get 50 120 and 52.5 so I will get 222.5 divided by okay now I'm going to solve this 5 by 9 mean 5 divided by 9 mean 0 0.6 and 3 by 2 mean 1.5 and 7 by 12 mean 0 0.6. So when I will add these numbers, what I will get? 0 0.6 plus 1.5 plus 0 0.6 so I will get 27 by 10 or 2.7 okay when I will divide triple 2.5 with 2.7 I will get 82.4 so 82.4 kilometer per hour is your answer okay so remember uh, in your book the answer is given in the form of a mixed number you can convert the answer to, you can write down the answer in the form of mixed number what you will do is you will take the lcm of these three fractions and then you will further solve it and then when you will divide add that you will get the answer in mixed number but but this method is also right if you are converting these fractions with the decimals number and if you just add them so what you will do is you can do a you will, your answer would be in decimal number and this is also right okay both answers are right the answer which is given in your book that is in the form of mixed number and the answer which is or i have written over here it is in the mix in it is in the decimal form so this is also right and that is also right and if you convert that mixed number into decimal number you will get the same answer okay so both answers are right do the practice of this sum because when you will do the practice and this comes i will be more clear to you take very good care of yourself thank you very much allah hafiz